What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. I am Leticia. And this, how can you see my hands? And this is that so Leticia. So what I'm gonna be doing for you guys today is basically reviewing and demoing one of the newest products to the Uma Beauty family. And this guy is called their Flawless In Real Life Foundation. Now, I know some people still may be trying to figure out like exactly what is the difference um, from their Say What Foundation. So I'm glad you asked. So I just have a few differences as well as a few similarities and then we'll jump right into the demoing. So for the Say What Foundation, uh, the price point is different. It comes with 51 shades and the price point for that one is $39, I was gonna say 50, gee whiz, $39. It comes in six different shade ranges, similar to the Flawless in Real Life Foundation. They both have 1.0 fluid ounces of product, although the In Real Life Foundation, this one comes in 30 shades. Now, one of the major differences, well, two, of the major differences between the Say What Foundation and the Flawless and Real Life Foundation are the Say What is uh, 51 shades, $39. In real life, is 30 shades at $14.99. Yes, pocket friendly fur. Pocket friendly fur. Yeah. And honestly, outside of like all of the hoopla um, in regards to like the price points or the shade ranges, the ingredients. So for the Flawless and Real Life Foundation, Sharon, who is the founder of Uma Beauty, she wanted to be a little bit more clean in regards to the ingredients that she provided or offered in her foundation. So the In Real Life Foundation, this one is actually marketed, and I'm just reading the information from the back of the product itself. Um, it's marketed more or less as a makeup skincare hybrid. It is infused with vitamin C plus 100% natural marine extract. That helps to combat the sebum in your skin, which, you know, kind of produces oil so your makeup doesn't last as long or you're continuously having to touch it up. Well, the 100% natural marine extract actually helps to combat that. So thus giving you more of a natural, radiant, but not oily complexion when you wear this product. And it's also marketed as a skin perfecting balm. So when I hear the word balm, it immediately takes me away from the traditional um, medium to heavy or medium to full coverage foundations. And it takes me into the mindset of a skin tint or a skin moisturizer. So I'm thinking that this is Uma Beauty's contribution to um, the newest wave of skin products out there, which have started somewhat to move away, at least for this season, has started to move away from your traditional foundations, you know, which can kind of be heavy depending on, you know, your preference. Um, a little bit too full coverage and it seems like this season we're gearing towards skin so being as flawless but naturally flawless and not so full glam. Regarding the application process is somewhat similar to their traditional or their original um, Say What Foundation. Um, they basically say to shape well before use. And the reason for that is because sometimes in shipping, you know, the product can begin to settle and separate, as well as Uma Beauty, if this one is anything like their Say What in terms of texture or consistency, it tends to be thin. And I prefer it thin because it gives you more of a flawless, natural complexion as opposed to, as I just stated, it being full coverage where it kind of, you know, sometimes tends to cover your pores or tends to um, begin to have like crease lines and things like that the longer that you wear it. So yeah, this one is more of a thin, uh, thinner formula. 
So it says to shake well before use and apply onto clean skin for the best results. Use a buffing brush or sponge for application and then blend for a stunning velvety skin-like matte finish. Or use fingers for sheer coverage. It says for sheer to medium coverage to apply sparsely. For medium to full coverage, apply generously. For full to extreme coverage, apply multiple layers. Okay, so for this demo, um, just because it's a light makeup day for me, it's hot here, like triple digits hot. Um, a little too hot to get glammed up and wear a ton of makeup, so this product is right on time for me because I can put a very thin layer, a little setting powder, and go on about my day. Hopefully. Fingers crossed. So, um, off camera, what I did, I already applied my skincare products. I will put a small list of the things that I use to prep my skin in the description box below. Without further ado, we are going to get right on into the product itself. Now, I am not going to prep my skin in regards to using a setting powder like I typically do, only because this product states that it has 100% marine extract, which helps to combat exactly what it would be that I am trying to get rid of, which is over oil production or too much oil production in my T-zone area. So I'm just going to shake as they suggested. I am going to, oh, and the shade uh, that I use is Brown Sugar T3. I am going to, yep, the consistency is about the same. So that was one pump. I'm going to do two pumps, and I'm going to apply using a damp beauty sponge, and let's see what happens. giving me skin tint or tinted moisturizer especially applying it this way with the damp sponge this I feel like this technique here with this product is perfect for everyday makeup applications where you are doing something light maybe on your way out the door and you just want to, you know, kind of give your skin, your complexion a little boost. Yeah, this, this is bomb. I like this. I really like this formula. I really do. I was a fan of the Say What Foundation, but this one, I guess they're pretty much, you know, similar in terms of, like I said, the consistency, um, you know, the application process, but this one, I really, it does not feel nor, in my opinion, look as though I have on makeup. You know, even when I wear skin tints or skin moisturizers, I still somewhat feel the need to have to, um, I'm sorry, y'all, I'm sweating. I still feel the need to somewhat have to put on you know, um, contouring and bronzing and all of those things, but I don't feel that with this particular foundation. Um, it's complementary to my, you know, my skin tone. Um, I am, however, going to set, you know, going to set it still just because again, where I am, it's super hot and you will be a fool not to, unless you're wearing some sort of cement on your face that is obviously not going to budge. I'm going to set it with the Beauty Bakery Flower um, flower Powder, and this is in the shade Chestnut or Almond. I'm just going to 
going to use a brush. And I am going to use a tad bit of bronzer and blush. And I'm going to use both of those from the Anastasia Beverly Hills Face Palette. This one is in Tropical Getaway. And if you need a reminder of how the products look, bronzer, highlight, blush. I'm going to apply a little bit of the bronzer using a colored rain blush slash bronzer brush just whisk a little bit across Tools blush brush. Just a little bit, not much. chocolate brown palette by Huda Beauty. There is no um, eyeshadow primer for this one. Just a really light eye I'm gonna do. And I'm going to be using a Morphe eyeshadow brush. This is their M504. I am going to, da, 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 da. let's go with this guy here, this one. I'm going to put that pretty much all over. This one, this is an Eco Tools Defined Crease Brush. I'm gonna take this shade here and just pop that right in the front. look no lashes I will however be applying Maybelline sky high TikTok made famous mascara to my lashes so that we can see that they exist Suede lip liner, and this is in the shade Vintage. And yes, I know about that. I'm just gonna let it dry, and then that way I can just peel it off without it smearing. So we're not gonna pay that um, temporary beauty mark any attention. Mm -hmm. 
And on top of the lip liner, I will be applying by Origins. This is their Blooming Bold Nectarlicious Lipstick. This is what it looks like. Okay guys, so this is my extremely simple, almost lazy look. Um, what I'm going to do is wear this guy for a few hours. Typical wear test hours is between five and a half to like eight hours. Um, let's see, what is the time here? The time here, 150. I will check back in with you guys. We're gonna say about eight, 50 or so and we will see how well it held up definitely in this trip with the heat so i'll be seeing you guys soon. okay guys so i am back um the current time is 8 10. i know i said i would check back in with you all closer to nine o'clock i'm tired i'm ready to wash my face <laughs> and with that being said so this is after many hours of wear today. Um, I did not venture outside as much as I normally would have. I did like go out and walk the dogs and kind of walk around the neighborhood a little bit. But um, yeah, so in my opinion, I feel like this wore beautifully. Um, I know I do have a little bit of shine that is up in the T-zone area, which is always after wearing uh, makeup for a extended amount of time is to be expected. To me, it's nothing alarming. It looks dewy. It looks natural. You know, I think I may have used my brush that I applied a little bit of the setting powder too. I used that one time earlier uh, today, this afternoon, like following me bringing my dogs back in from their walk. But outside of that, I have not had to do anything to my makeup to maintain more of a luminous natural finish as opposed to any oil breakthrough. Um, I did touch up my lipstick a little bit but that was about it so in conclusion what do i think i think this one is a yay um reason being it's uma beauty she always brings out amazing products as well as now you know with it being um, more clean ingredients being more sustainable as well as that hybrid skincare to makeup, I feel like this is honestly a great product. Um, it's marketed more as a balm. So, you know, it's easier for people to absorb and use as opposed to those who are not necessarily as familiar with makeup or they tend to shy away from foundation. This, as you guys saw earlier, it took really no effort for me to apply it, just two small squirts to a wet beauty sponge, and I was able to take care of my entire face, gave me a natural finish, one that I didn't feel obligated to do all the contouring and concealing with, still looked like my natural skin. So yeah, definitely a yay for this one. And that is all I have for you great people out there this now evening. Um, as always, thank you so much for watching. Thank you for interacting with my content. And I will definitely leave a um, entire list of products used in the description box below. So feel free to like, check, comment, share. Um, offer suggestions, critique, I'm here for it all. But until we meet again, you guys know what to do. And as always, we shall chat again soon.